It's time now for the morning rush. And we start with Kristen Curry. Good morning. We'll start with our next big weather maker expected to move in over the next 48 hours. So today, nothing but sunshine and very warm temperatures. But as we transition into the day tomorrow, you'll notice increasing cloud cover as well as showers breaking out over the four corners area. We will see widespread showers break out by Sunday into Monday. Details on that coming up. Sarah. In just hours, the pair accused of stealing a van and leading police on a chase, ultimately killing a mother and her daughter, are expected to be arraigned. Alexis Groves and Paul Garcia are both facing two counts of murder, plus other charges. Police recently arrested Garcia in Edgewood after being on the run for weeks. Groves was arrested two days after the fatal crash that killed Shaylee Bowling and her mother. The arraignment is scheduled to start at 8.30 in District Court. Fernanda? New at 6, officials at JFK are investigating a possible engine fire on a plane that sparked before takeoff. Now, the pilot of an Argentina Airlines flight reported the fire late last night when the plane was still on the runway. The plane is being examined this morning, but no injuries were reported. All passengers were rebooked on other flights. People living on the island of Bali are facing the possibility of more dangerous heavy rain this morning. A National Disaster Agency spokesperson says 12 people, including three kids, have already been killed in landslides Thursday night. Officials continue to warn people in that area of the potential for more landslides and flooding. Parts of the Northeast are digging out following a deadly winter snowstorm yesterday. The fast moving storm dumped as much as 18 inches of snow in the region, triggering power outages and making a mess of travel. Thousands of flights were canceled because of that storm. Fernando. A former Santa Fe attorney who's spent time in prison already for a drunk driving case is appealing his conviction on another DWI charge. Last month, Carlos Fierro pleaded guilty to aggravated DWI after he was pulled over last year in Española for swerving and refusing a breath test. A hearing on the appeal is set for Monday in Santa Fe. And new this morning, former UNM President Bob Frank is no longer in the running for Ohio University's president search. According to the Athens News in Ohio, Frank withdrew his name from consideration yesterday. It's not clear why he dropped out. Frank left UNM in December following a deal with the Board of Regents after accusations he bullied workers and was responsible for questionable spending. Salaries for Albuquerque's mayor and city councilors will stay in place until at least November of 2019. The Citizens Independent Salary Commission announced yesterday the next mayor will make $125,000 a year. That's what Mayor, mayor Barry should make, but he took a pay cut in 2011 and has not accepted any pay raises since. Most of the councilors will continue to make around $30,000 a year. Kristen? Metro threat index at a zero for today. We have nothing to worry about. Even our morning temperatures are relatively mild in the low 40s. Later today, we'll get back to the 70s underneath that mostly sunny sky and light winds only about 5 to 15 out of the south southwest. Adam. Valentine's Day just four days away now if you're counting down and border control agents are making sure that any flowers you buy are pest free. Agents are inspecting flowers and plants so that no harmful insects or diseases are brought into the U.S. Some of the most commonly prohibited flowers include chrysanthemums and gladiolus. Next week, a state inspector will visit one of southern New Mexico's uh, towns to help control a bug attacking pecan trees. The State Department of Agriculture placed a 60-day quarantine to stop pecans from moving in and out of Artesia. The inspector will be at Jamaica Park Tuesday and Wednesday to issue certificates to those who wish to take pecans out of the city. And new at 6.30 this morning, Arby's is dealing with a data breach. Hackers reportedly installed malware on cash registers and then may have stolen credit and debit card information from roughly 350,000 customers. Cybersecurity reporter Brian Krebs says the, the breach only affected Arby's owned stores, not franchises. Arby says it has eliminated the software that infected its system. All right, time now for a check on traffic. We do have a rollover crash that's at Pennsylvania and Lomas. You are going to want to avoid that uh, area that is a serious crash that authorities are working on. We will keep you updated once we hear of anything. Singapore is now serving up cheese, a mix between fried chicken and pizza. It's made by putting pizza toppings like tomato sauce, ham, and pineapple chunks on top of a piece of fried chicken. It replaces the crust with chicken, basically. Reviews from people who have already had it are mixed. No word on if cheese will ever be available in the U.S. Sounds pretty interesting. Good. Yeah, <laughs> major iPhone upgrades are in the works at Apple this morning. The new 10th anniversary iPhone, dubbed the iPhone 8, will reportedly have wireless charging and a bigger screen. But KGI Security says that means a price hike too. 
the new iPhone could reportedly cost more than a thousand dollars. We'll see. That's All right. Happens, <laughs> pretty expensive. A dog is lucky to be alive this morning after this incredible rescue that you're about to see. Waldo was struggling to keep afloat in a broken uh, up part of an icy river. Police were on scene, but a good Samaritan grabbed some wood and used it to float out <coughs> to Waldo to Aww. pull him out of that river. Now, Waldo was treated for hyperthermia, but quickly recovered. He is now best friends with his new rescuer. Ah, he looks good, too. Yeah. So Sweet. All right, time now for the five facts. Start at number five. This weekend, you have a chance to scuba dive right here in Albuquerque. The Bioparks Aquarium's Scuba Day takes place tomorrow. You can learn more about diving and upcoming scuba classes and trips and a chance to enter to win a dive in the aquarium's shark tank. For more details, head on over to KRQE.com. Number four, a bill to help stop thieves from stealing your car is scheduled for a hearing today in a House committee. House Bill 269 would create an auto theft authority. Representative Bill Ream of Albuquerque says it'll use data to predict where the next car could be stolen from. The proposal also calls for auto theft investigations and working with the AG and district attorneys to help prosecute cases. And number three, APD plans to continue patrolling near UNM more often now, days after the shooting death of a student just steps from campus. Police say they found the body of 26-year-old Juan Carlos Romero early Tuesday morning on the corner of Stanford and Central. Wednesday morning, police say another student was approached by a man with a gun. No suspects are in custody in either case. At number two, warm and sunny today. A little bit of wind over the northern mountains, but tomorrow increasing cloud cover with showers out west. We look to see widespread showers with gusty winds and cooler temperatures by the end of the weekend. On to number one, people from seven majority Muslim countries can continue entering the U.S. this morning. President Trump's travel ban remains on hold after a U.S. appeals court refused to reinstate that executive order. Next steps, the government has 14 days to ask the court to reconsider or file an emergency appeal with the Supreme Court. The president could also reissue the executive order with some fixes. Also, new health secretary Tom Price could take the oath of office as early as today after being confirmed by the Senate just hours ago overnight.